I know it's here somewhere. Finally, finally. Oh, it's time for the duck. You're listening to Dr. Bill, the computer curmudgeon. Ah, oh, take it away, Doctor. Well, it's that time again, and the doctor is in. It's time for another Dr. Bill, the computer curmudgeon netcast. And I trust you're having a good time this week with your technology. I've been having quite a bit of fun myself. In fact, I have just built a new computer. I point to it that you can't see it because that's just not where the camera is pointing. <laughs> anyway... What I did is I used the same case and everything else, but I put in a new motherboard, CPU, and memory, and I have upgraded to a monster machine, 3.2 gigahertz quad-core Intel processor with 4 gig of memory. Dude. Yes. And so I am experimenting, as, as a matter of fact, as I do this netcast, because I'm using the uh, Logitech webcam, the 910 Logitech C910 webcam, and I'm using it with the quad-core system so we can see how smooth it works. Isn't that neat? Even though it's recording at 720p optimized uh, setting. Cool, huh? Anyway, we are proud members of the Tech Podcast Network, techpodcast.com. If it's tech, it's right here on Dr. Bill, the computer curmudgeon. And oh, by the way... We're still doing that promotion with Citrix Systems that if you want to get in on that uh, uh, go to my PC, or actually it's, it's a support thing, it's go to PC Express. I'm sorry, I got it wrong again. I just keep getting it wrong. But it's a good product. It basically allows you as a geek to go help somebody who is not a geek, who may not know their computer as well as you do. And so you get to help them out and feel good about yourself. That's a good thing. So get that product, as it says right here. There's a bit.ly URL right here, right now, that you can write down, or you can get it from the show notes, or you can do whatever you want to be sure to click on it, because it not only will help you with a 30-day free trial, 100% free, but also it will help the Dr. Bill Show, which, as you know, is a worthy cause. Yes, indeed. So... Uh, I'm getting a weird message here. I don't want that message to be in front of my face. <laughs> it says, microphone is currently in use. Well, of course it is. I'm recording. Silly machine. Anyway, Sai, just don't show me these messages. You'll confuse me. And it's not a good thing to confuse me because I am easily confused and distracted. Okay, here's the thing. We want to talk about something that I posted in the blog, which, by the way, the blog is D-R-B-I-L-L -L dot C-C, Dr. Bill, the computer curmudgeon. That's what C-C stands for, is computer curmudgeon. As you well know, as a viewer of this netcast, uh, you'll also notice that I'm here in the living room. My living room, not your living room. I don't know where your living room is, but I know where mine is, and I'm here in it. Yes. So, I just, I'm surrounded by all this equipment and I don't want to deal with it. I just, I'm going to stay here and work on the equipment and do my netcast. So, there. Okay. So, here's the thing. I blogged earlier this week. As a matter of fact, on September 13th, I can tell because I'm looking at the blog and it says September 13th is when I posted it. I'm smart that way. Uh, anyway, it says, infinite storage, no limits. Um, oh, I'm getting another message. This new machine is just giving me all kinds of interesting messages. You see, it is saying that the processor temperature has reached a critical level because I have these lights on heating up the case. How silly is that? So, I suppose I will pause momentarily to cool down my CPU. It's not every day that you stop a netcast to cool down your CPU. Okay, we're back. And it's odd. <laughs> it's darker, if you notice, because I turned some lights out and moved this light away from the screen. See, I can shift it there and it makes the light change. 
Anyway, I'm pointing it not toward the screen. I'm pointing it away from the computer because the computer was getting very sad. Plus, I have started a fan behind me back there. Not the fan that's sitting there. Let's see if I can get my finger looking in the right direction. Not that fan. That fan, as you notice, is not running. <laughs> no, it's an entirely separate fan. Very similar to that fan, but this fan behind me here is dead. So, why do I have a dead fan behind me? Don't ask these questions. It just won't pay to ask those kinds of questions. So if you hear a fan going, Shh, then you'll know why. See, I, I right before I started the netcast, I installed these utilities that tell me all I ever want to know about my computer that came with the motherboard from Intel. And they said, dude, your CPU is overheating. I'm like, well, yeah, I'm pointing some thousand watt lights right at the case. Of course it's overheating. <sighs> it's fun being me. I have all kinds of adventures. I know you're saying you could avoid these adventures if you wouldn't do these things. What fun would that be? Anyway. Before we were interrupted and things got darker and the lighting changed and all these other things occurred, I was talking about infinite storage. Infinite storage. This, this hair keeps flopping down in my face. Have you noticed that? I have hair issues mainly because, and I've got a shadow up here now too. What do I care? The point is that the rogue hairstylist I mentioned last week kind of messed my hair and my beard up, and I'm sorry, and it'll grow back, so deal with it. I'm talking to me. You don't care. Okay. Calm. Okay. Infinite storage. No limits. Here's the thing. They had this competition. See, I, I didn't explain this because I knew I'd be talking about it on the netcast, so I didn't explain it in the post. The post just says, yes, you read that right, it's totally infinite storage. I didn't explain what it was all about. So here's what it's all about. It's all about this company, this brand new spanking new company that's called BitCasa. Casa, of course, Casa, being the Spanish word for house, bit being bit, so it's a bit house. Anyway, it's a place to store your bits, is pretty much the whole thing. So they registered bitcasa.com. It is .com, isn't it? I'm saying that like I know what I'm talking about. Well, let me click on the link. It is indeed bitcasa.com. I went a little squirrely there because they gave me one of those strange URLs. T dot co slash h n capital e a r u e hineru anyway i'll put it up here because if you click that link then you can read all about bitcasa and it will actually also help the doctor as well so do that here's why they are going to provide the service to give you infinite storage. Now, once all the rigmarole is out, it's going to cost $10 a month. But for those of you adventurous folk that want to click on that link, you can be entered into a contest to get lifetime infinite storage. <laughs> I want to win that because lifetime infinite storage would be awesome. See, here's the thing about infinite storage. Infinite is infinite. All the storage you could ever need or want. Now, here's the other thing about BitCasa. BitCasa is a new technology that's actually got patents. I mean, it's brand spank new, cloud-based storage, and it's going to look like it's local to your PC, kind of like Dropbox does. You know how they put a My Dropbox thing in your file structure? Well, it's going to look like a local drive, but our directory, but you just drag stuff over there and drop it there, and it'll just as much as you want, it'll hold the storage, and it'll be off-site, and it'll be backed up, and it will be in the cloud. 
So, how cool is that? So click on that, do me and you a favor, and do that. All right, next item. Imagine a guide for all your favorite TV shows. If you're like me, you're a tv aholic. That's somebody who watches TV a lot. I kind of made that word up, too. But anyway. So, uh, what it is, it's kind of like TV Guide, but it's a little bit more. You can actually see whether a show has been canceled or... Uh, if it's moved times, it basically keeps up with all your favorite TV shows. And you can put the TV shows in a favorites list, see, which is why it's called fave, F-A-V, dot TV. That's the address right here on the screen, fave dot TV. So you can keep up with actors, scheduling, schedule changes, cancellations, new shows, all kinds of stuff. So I thought that was pretty cool. By the way, if you see the image shake like this, let me do this. See, it's not a special effect. It's the fact that the table that I'm using here that has the computer and the monitor and everything and the mouse and the keyboard all sitting on it is made of cardboard. No, really, I'm serious. It's truly made of cardboard. It has like a metal rim around it with, with little flimsy metal legs, and the actual surface is cardboard. So, whenever I move the mouse, it moves the whole table, and the whole table looks like it's going to fall down. How's that? I know that it's cardboard because earlier I was wiping the surface down with rubbing alcohol, and the surface actually got wet. I, you know, I don't mean it got wet like the water was sitting there on it. I'm talking about it soaked in and got wet because of it soaking into the cardboard. Yes, I didn't pay a lot for this table. <laughs> I'm cheap, what can I say? Anyway, have you ever just had one of those interesting days? So, next item, watch the developer preview of Windows 8. This is a YouTube video that I linked to from Microsoft. Now you might say, Dr. Bill. What are you doing linking to a video from Microsoft? What? I don't even have tux behind me. You're probably going, is he sold out? No, no. Tux is in the office right there. He's right on the shelf, right where my thumb is pointing. Behind the fan that's dead. <laughs> and Tux didn't kill it. Anyway, you know, I get a picture of Tux with a switchblade. <laughs> Attacking the fan. He didn't do that. He's, he's a very nice, calm penguin. Anyway, the developer preview of Windows 8 is because they're releasing Windows 8 to the techverse. And they want people to see the Metro interface. Now, I think that an interface that's called the Metro interface is suspect just by itself. But, <laughs> I'm not going there. The point is that that is the new tiley interface that you flip the tiles. I don't know. I still got to see that. But, maybe what later I will. Also, next item. This is a Windows 8-ish edition. Windows 8 comes with a brand new blue screen of death. Just when you thought that the blue screen of death was an iconic image that would always tell you when your system was dying, Microsoft redesigned the blue screen of death and made it much happier and fluffier. You can see it on the blog. I have a link to it here. Actually, I have a picture of it posted on the blog. It's got a little sad icon face. You know, the little thing where you've got the full colon, and then the uh, parentheses so that you have the little sad face. So it's got that emoticon of a sadness, and then it says, your PC ran into a problem that it couldn't handle, and it now needs to restart. Isn't that much friendlier, calmer, than a whole big screen of white letters on blue that says, stuff you can't understand? By the way, I made that up, too. Anyway, so there you go. 
and it's blue, but it's a different blue. It's a lighter, calmer blue. Maybe they watched last week's netcast and decided, let's do a calm blue screen of death. Whoa! <laughs> well, the... That one really got me. The, the Geek Software of the Week drum roll, which decided it didn't want to be calm, is reminding us that we have a new Geek Software of the Week, and the Geek Software of the Week this week is... True Soft. VPN just kind of goes along with the program, doesn't it? True Soft. True like the little shrew creature that... William Shakespeare wrote about in The Taming of the Shrew. He wasn't really talking about the little creature, though. He was talking about a lady that was really mean. So she was shrewish. Not Jewish. Shrewish. I mean, I don't know. She may have been Jewish. I'm down with that. But I digress. The point is, this company is called Shrew Shot. Shrew Shot. True, soft, like it says on the screen. True, soft VPN client. Now, let me tell you why this is so cool. First, it's free. And you know I like free. Yes. But now you might say, but Dr. Bill, the Cisco VPN client is also free. Is it really? See, here's the thing. We use Cisco at work, as most companies do, to secure their VPN. And so that requires a Cisco VPN client, or at least a Cisco VPN compatible client. And they issue us a PCF file, .pcf. I don't know what it stands for. Ask a network dude. I'm a system dude. Anyway, .pcf. So, I needed, well, let me back up. When I built this new machine that I'm pointing to here that you can't see because it's not on camera. I've already mentioned that. I was building this new machine and I wanted to put the Cisco VPN client on it. So I went to Cisco and I said, I'd like to download it. And they said, you've got to log into your Cisco account. Well, I have a Cisco account, but my Cisco account isn't like I said, I'm not a network dude, so it isn't worthy enough. See, I've got a I've got a Citrix account that's like I own the universe account. You know what I mean? I got a VMware account that is like every license the whole hospital has that I work for is in this account. I am the master. But Cisco, no. 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 So I couldn't download the stupid client. And even when I finally got one, and I won't say how I got it, but when I got it, I tried to install it on Windows 7 Professional, and it went and died. It wouldn't let me install it. It said, I have got some stupid error. So I said, okay, wait a minute. What am I, the doctor, doing fooling with this stuff? I'll go find a free one that works, that's Cisco compatible, that doesn't have Cisco's name on it. So I did. And it's called TrueSoft VPN Client. It's actually quite awesome. It comes in Windows 32-bit, Windows 62-bit, and Linux and OpenBSD flavors. Yes. So, since I was building a Windows 64-bit, Windows 7 64-bit box, I got the 64-bit version and I downloaded it. Now, here's what's cool. It installed and it has a very nice little interface. It's actually a nicer interface, I think, than the Cisco client. But anyway, you can go to File, choose Import, go find your PCF file that you got from work, click on it, import it, and you're set. You don't have to set up anything. How cool is that? So now I've got this awesome VPN client that allows me to get to work from my machine, and I didn't have to fool with stupid Cisco. Who would let me in anyway? Because they're too big for their britches. So, I'm maybe the Geek Software of the Week. <clears throat> so there.
Cisco. Okay. By the way, not Captain Cisco from Star Trek Deep Space Nine. I like him. He's one of my favorite captains. Probably is my favorite captain. I like him a lot. He's the emissary of the prophets and all, you know. Pretty cool. Anyway, I digress again. Boy, by the way, I messed up all the Star Trek references in one of the more recent netcasts. Maybe in the last netcast. I messed up a ton of them. I got Peter David's name wrong. I tried to call him uh, David Mack, who is a Star Trek author of Star Trek novels, but he's not the one who wrote the New Frontier books. I said it was the final Frontier book series, and it's really the New Frontier book series. My wife, who is also a Trekker, said, Boy, you were wrong on all these different things. I'm like... I didn't, you know, I don't write these things. I don't plan them. I just talk. It's a stream of consciousness. And my consciousness is quite interesting. So. So anyway, next item. But I tried to correct it all with my little writing things that I put here. So, hopefully it was okay. Even though I didn't know about the New Frontier, Final Frontier problem until she pointed it out. And then I went, oh, well, they don't care. Or if they do, they'll write me an email. So, download, next item, download the Windows 8 preview and geek out. Geek out. Do -do, do -do, do -do. See, now I look like the Numa Numa kid. Numa Numa. That was not my intent. It was not a Numa Numa homage. Okay? Just say it. So, here's the item. The Windows 8 developer preview. They announced it to all the developers. Here's Windows 8 and here's a copy so you can take it home and write stuff to make us tons of money. And I'm serious about that. I'll talk about that here in just a second. But, they also released it to anybody and everybody else that's interested that wants to download it because they want you to get you jazzed about Windows 8. But now here's the thing. Those of you who are developers, I'm talking to you, Mike Johnson, because you're a developer. If you develop an application for Windows 8 and you decide to sell it through their app store that they're going to create for Windows 8, you got to pay Microsoft 30% just like people have to pay the Apple 30% tax for being in the Apple App Store. Ah, Microsoft's taking over the world yet again. And I don't like it. Good thing I'm not an application developer. I'm just a system guy. I just make sure the systems run. You guys write the software that makes the world go round. Makes the world sing. Never mind. Next item. Next item is the cake is a lie, but Portal is now free. Yes, this is about Portal, the game from the company. Uh, the company who wrote the game is Steam something. I remember the Steam part. I don't remember anything else about it. Do, 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 do. Anyway, I can't find it. Maybe it's just Steam. What do I know? I mean, that's, that sounds like a gaming company. The Game Master will correct me if I'm totally wrong. He's downstairs. That's why I look over the, the ledge here. Yo, Game Master! He's busy. Anyway... <laughs> I think it's called Steam. But anyway, it doesn't matter. The point is, Portal is free for the PC and the Mac. As long as you download it before September 20th. So get cracking. Matter of fact, by the time you see this netcast, it may be too late. It may be all moot. So hopefully you read the article in my blog and downloaded it for free. It's normally 10 bucks, so it's not like it's a big deal. But it's, it's Portal. You can find the cake. Yes. Well, you probably won't find the cake. Oh, well. Portal 2 is also out, and it's $29.99. Uh, I'm going to go find... Steam Powered! That's the name of the site. I finally found a link that I could go there. Steam Powered. 
I'm just doing lots of sound effects this week. Anyway, so I think that's enough silliness for one week. And besides, my hair is flopping down in my face again. And it's doing crazy things. So, until next time, remember that the doctor is out of here. Dr. Bill the Computer Curmudgeon is a production of DrBillBailey.net with all the honors, rights, and privileges thereunto appertaining.